Meanwhile, three Chinese astronauts who took off on Shenzhou 15 manned spaceship some six months ago have landed back safely on Earth after completing this six-month-long mission to build China's space station. On May 8th, a mysterious reusable Chinese spacecraft gracefully returned to Earth after a staggering 276 days in orbit marking an enigmatic milestone that extends beyond mere technological achievement. Experimental Chinese spacecraft has returned to Earth after 276 days in orbit, completing a landmark mission to test the country's reusable space technologies. Unveiling its maneuvers, this spacecraft has triggered a cosmic intrigue, hinting at capabilities that could redefine the rules of engagement in space. China, a formidable player in the cosmic race, hints at commanding a weapon so unique its likes have never been seen before. The skies are beginning to swarm with satellites, and in the lead at this moment is China. Today's episode will cover China's secret satellite killer and its possible implications. In a recent celestial spectacle, a mysterious reusable spacecraft of Chinese origin gracefully descended to Earth after a prolonged sojourn in orbit, boasting an impressive tenure of 276 days. While at first glance, this may seem like an ordinary technological feat, the implications from a military standpoint are both intriguing and, for some, concerning. Now the Americans, of course, don't think so. America believes that China is using its low Earth orbit satellites to spy on the United States of America's military installations. What if I told you that this seemingly innocuous spacecraft could be the key player in a high-stakes game, threatening the delicate balance of power in space? The maneuverability exhibited by this Chinese spacecraft opens up a realm of possibilities, not only for scientific exploration, but also for potential military applications. It's hard for me to see how information derived from the space program will not be provided to the Chinese military. Imagine a versatile spacecraft capable of surveilling, disrupting, or even outright attacking an adversary's space-based assets. The plot thickens as Leo Labs, a private space services company, dropped a bombshell on Twitter, revealing that this spacecraft engaged in multiple rendezvous with a separate object during its orbit. But what if these orbital dances weren't just for show? What if this spacecraft is the harbinger of a new era, where nations vie for dominance not only on Earth, but in the vast expanse of space? China's state-run. China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation has been tight-lipped about the specifics of this orbital escapade, leaving room for speculation and, inevitably, some degree of apprehension. The question arises, what could a highly maneuverable, reusable space vehicle equipped with the capability to manipulate other objects in orbit, signify in the grand theater of space. Imagine a space ballet where satellites wield unseen arms, capable of either creating or disrupting the delicate dance of celestial bodies. What secrets could these celestial choreographers hold? The term satellite killer is not merely a catchy phrase. It encapsulates the potential threat posed by such maneuverable crafts. The ominous ability to capture and presumably disable or destroy enemy satellites raises the stakes in the global space race. The playbook includes the utilization of robotic arms, electronic warfare jamming, high-powered microwave beams, and even the brute force of smashing into target space objects or launching projectiles. Now, what if I told you that space, once a realm of peaceful exploration, is now a potential battleground, a place where nations flex their technological muscles and the fate of satellites hangs in the balance? The United States, heavily reliant on satellites for crucial military operations, finds itself at the forefront of this cosmic conundrum. The Chief of Space Operations, General B. Chance Saltzman, in a congressional testimony, highlighted China as the most immediate threat due to its relentless pursuit of space weaponization. Can you imagine a scenario where the loss of a satellite, the eyes and ears of a nation, could have consequences akin to being plunged into cosmic darkness? What if an adversary could strategically blind a nation, leaving it vulnerable and disadvantaged? China's strategic focus on ground-based lasers, electronic warfare jammers, and anti-satellite missiles underscores a multifaceted approach to disrupting the delicate balance in space. The vulnerability of geosynchronous orbit, a prized position for monitoring and communication satellites, adds a layer of complexity to this high-stakes game. Picture a chessboard in the cosmos, where every move has the potential to alter the trajectory of power dynamics. What if the next pawn sacrificed is not on Earth but orbiting miles above? As the geopolitical chess match intensifies, the revelations about China's grappling satellites that can pull a U.S. spacecraft out of orbit 
injects a sense of urgency into the equation. The revelation that the U.S. Space Force plans to transition to a proliferated network of smaller satellites hints at a strategic shift in response to the evolving threat landscape. The genesis of this cosmic arms race traces back to 2007, when China demonstrated its capabilities by striking one of its own weather satellites. Fast forward to 2022, and China is well on its way to becoming a global leader in space technology, thanks to the seamless fusion of its military and civil efforts. What if this technological prowess, once confined to the realm of science fiction, is now the driving force behind a new era of global power dynamics? Can you envision a future where the control of space equates to control over nations? In this ever-evolving space saga, the U.S. Space Force contends that Chinese and Russian attacks on U.S. satellites are a daily occurrence, employing non-kinetic means, such as lasers, radio frequency jammers, and cyber attacks. Meanwhile, the enigmatic Chinese reusable space plane continues to hover in the shadows, revealing just enough to confirm the escalating anti-satellite capabilities. How would you navigate a world where the silent battles in space mirror the clandestine struggles on Earth? What if the satellites above are not merely observing, but actively participating in a silent war of technological supremacy? The cosmic narrative takes an intriguing turn with the revelation that the U.S. also possesses two X-37B mini space shuttles seemingly counterparts to their Chinese equivalents. As these celestial counterparts engage in their orbital ballet, one can't help but wonder, what if the fate of nations is not only decided on Earth but in the vast, uncharted expanses of space? Imagine a celestial dance-off, where the contenders are not nations but their technological avatars, maneuvering in the cosmic arena. Gen B, Chance Saltzman, highlighted the danger posed by China's anti-satellite, ASAT, missile capabilities, as one of the Space Force's biggest challenges as the young service nears its fourth birthday. Saltzman has frequently described China's 2007 test of its direct ascent ASAT weapon as a turning point in the history of military space operations. Speaking at the Atlantic Council recently in November, he warned that such weapons remain a serious concern. That's a double problem because they can take out satellites, and the debris created by those destructions can cause other problems in orbit, Saltzman said. It's a compounding problem we have to figure out. In addition to building more, smaller satellites, Saltzman said the Space Force must work on ways for satellites to defend and protect themselves from both kinetic, physical attacks such as missiles, and non-kinetic, electronic or cyber attacks attacks. For non-kinetic defense capabilities, Saltzman cited the importance of designing validated tactics to counter such cyber attacks and training operators to use these tactics in a timely manner. The goal is to mitigate the effects of potential attacks in a contested space environment and ensure the satellites can continue to function. All in all, the celestial stage is set and the actors are in position. The rise of maneuverable spacecrafts and the ever-advancing capabilities in space technology usher in a new era, where the balance of power extends beyond our planet. As we gaze towards the stars, the questions that linger are not only about the mysteries of the cosmos, but also about the unfolding drama of nations in the great theater of space.